So what should you do after you have passed your NIBOSH general certificate, whether you're a national or an international delegate? Well, you've got a bit of a decision to make here. Let's assume you are wanting to pursue seriously a career in health and safety. And believe me, it's a very, very rewarding career. What should you do? Well, you've got two ways of tackling it, two approaches. You can either go upwards, in terms of your qualifications, or you can go sideways and then upwards. Ultimately, you're going to want to get a higher level qualification like the NIBOSH diploma or uh, an NVQ, uh, NVQ level five, level six, level seven, whichever one you decide to go for. One of the higher level qualifications, which is going to get you graduate status at IOSH, which then helps you get become chartered in the longer term. But here's the thing, there is an alternative approach, which I do recommend, uh, particularly if you're starting out early days in your career, and that is to get some of the smaller, shorter, more specialist qualifications on your CV first, uh, because they can be done quite cheaply, quite quickly, quite easily, and they add a tremendous amount of value to your CV uh, and to your skills and knowledge very, very quickly. Whereas doing one of the higher level qualifications like the NIBOSH diploma, you're looking at a two year, maybe even a three year project to get that depending on your approach. Me personally, I did it in a classroom approach uh, and I did it over 18 months and it was a hell of a slog, a hell of a project. And what it meant was for 18 months, I didn't add any value to my CV. So yeah, at the time I was thankfully employed, but if I wasn't employed, if I was out there hunting for jobs, I would have benefited greatly from adding two or three specialist courses, specialist qualifications to my CV. So what are your options? Well, here I'm gonna focus on the offerings that Compassa have, but there are other alternatives, of course, but just bear in mind that we only offer video courses, video like this, taught and presented by me, giving my real world experience, real world wisdom that I've gained over the past 20 years of manage, uh, managing health and safety in a very wide variety of organizations. Course number one, which I would recommend that you do, is the NIBOSH HSE Incident Investigation Award. And if we take a look here, we've got that there. We've got the world's only video e-learning course for this and you can enroll onto this through the Compasso website. And this course, it focuses specifically on incident investigation. And if you're honest, you only did a little bit of incident investigation on your general certificates. You probably did it for about an hour. It's about, that's it, isn't it really? Just the bare basics. On this course, you will spend seven to eight hours studying incident investigation in great depth, including how to do the investigation, what are the steps, how do you interview witnesses? You'll learn about interview technique and you will get a chance to practice your interview technique in our online simulator. You will have to do an incident investigation online in a 3D model workplace and then take part in a series of interviews where you are in control. And so you'll learn a tremendous amount about incident investigation and all safety professionals should do that qualification. Another qualification which I think all safety professionals should do is our CPD certified managing people effectively course. Now this is not a safety course. This is about communication and leadership and management of people skills. This is gonna help you with your conversations. It's gonna help you win people over to health and safety. It's gonna help you with the difficult conversations. Like how do you challenge somebody? How do you give feedback? And like the most difficult for me was always, how do you negotiate in a meeting with senior managers who don't want to implement the safety measures that you want? How do you negotiate and get a win-win situation? This course is going to teach you how to do that and it uses professionally trained actors, role-playing situations, and you get activities to do along the way where you can point out what they're doing well and what they're not doing well and so on. And it's really gonna help you think about your own behaviors and your own communication styles so that you can then improve and practice better ways of handling those situations to get a better result. One final one is the NIBOSH HSE Managing Stress in the Workplace Certificate. This is a level four qualification. It's a higher level than the NIBOSH General Certificate. 
even though it's a really short course, it takes about eight to nine hours to do, completely assessed online, no, no big exams to do, it's online, multiple choice question, but you've got eight to nine hours teaching you how to manage stress, specifically, how do you implement the HSE's stress management standards? How do you do a stress risk assessment? And what are some of the control measures that you can implement and negotiate internally to bring stress levels down? And then also, what do you do after that? How do you monitor it? How do you review it? How do you continually improve it? With mental health and stress being such a topic at the moment and something which all organizations have to wrestle with, again, a great qualification for you to add very, very quickly to your CV. Now, once you've done those, what else should you do? Well, again, you've got some other options, options which we do not currently offer, but might do in the future, probably, so let's just wait and see. But you've also got the Nibosh Fire Certificate, which you can add, again, relevant to all workplaces. And you've also got various environmental certificates too. There's a Nibosh environmental certificate and an IEMA, I-E-M-A, environmental certificates. You can look at both of those options. Again, we don't offer those yet. Wait, watch this space. We'll hopefully offer those in the next year or so. Beyond that, where do we go? Well, beyond that, you wanna be looking at a level six qualification. So this means either the Nibosh National Diploma or the NVQ level six. Which one is preferred? That's a hell of a debate. Basically, this is tribal. Some love Nibosh, some love NVQ. Listen, I think in the end, it doesn't really matter that much which one you go for. Nibosh will help, hate me for saying this. But once you become chartered, no one cares. No one cares, really. You might get the odd snob either way, but once you're chartered, you are competent as far as the rest of the profession is concerned. Me? I did the Nibosh National Diploma. It seemed to be at the time the most recognized of the, of, uh, the two. NVQs are called by some people not very qualified, bit unfair to be perfectly honest, but it does show that there is a bit of snobbery from people who love Nibosh. The Nibosh National Diploma will teach you things. It will teach you really, really well. and You'll have to pass some really tough exams. It's a very difficult qualification to do. Whereas the NVQ you won't teach you anything. There are no lessons, but you'll do a lot of research. You'll have to do a lot of reading, a lot of research, and you'll have to do a lot of doing. You see, you don't pass the NVQ with exams. You pass the NVQ thanks to practicing safety and then demonstrating your experience with evidence. So you do a lot of evidence collecting, a lot of research to build a portfolio. And one could, one could make various criticisms of the two approaches. You could criticize Nibosh and say, you do a lot of learning and studying, but you don't do a lot of doing. There's not a lot of doing in there. So yeah, you know it, but can you do it? It's a reasonable question. For the NVQ people, you could say, listen, you've shown us that you can do a lot of stuff and collect a lot of evidence, but do you know your stuff? If I were to ask you a technical question right now, could you answer it? And there's every chance that the answer is no, they won't be able to answer it because they might not have studied that particular topic. Anyway, these are various criticisms we can make. You make your choice and decide what works best for you. If you wanted to do the Nibosh National Diploma, you can study that through, kind of through us. Now we are partnered with our good friends at Astutis. Astutis, based in South Wales, lovely people, great courses as well. Not video courses like us, but high quality. Check out their diploma course, and if you like it, come and buy it through Compassa. We offer it at exactly the same price, so you don't spend any more money. And if you buy it through us, we will give you a number of free Compassa courses, free of charge. So you will get more for your money if you buy the Astutis Diploma through Compassa. There we are. If you've got any other suggestions, any other comments on how you should continue your career development after doing the Nibosh General Certificate, then feel free to drop me a comment down below.